Hey guys, it's Marcus here from Bird Electronics and I think we might want to unbox the Arduino Inventor Kit from Spark Farm. It's actually quite a big box, so I have to get it back. Let's open this guy up. Okay, so well, I guess the first thing you'll see there's a nice little guide. Let's have a closer look at that. Uh, okay, so this is actually one of the uh, Umlaut uh, products. And yeah, it seems to be a oh, really nice step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Arduino, whether you've got uh, Windows, how to do it on Windows XP or Mac OS X, uh, Arduino programming, oh wow, that literally runs you through the whole, uh, I guess, really gives you a primer on the Arduino language. Uh, and all the components that are in the actual inventor kit. And we skip through to the back, even a few projects to do. So yeah, let's look at some of these components. So of course there is your standard Arduino USB. So we'll come to him at the end. Ah, look at this guy. Ah, nice little server. Really small server actually. Look at him. Tiny little guy. And convenient a little lead here. Just take a couple of header pins to put him in. And yeah, some uh, quick cogs and bits and pieces for the server. Let's see what else we've got in here. Jumper wires. Now, when it comes to prototyping with the Arduino, you can never have too many jumper wires. We sell these in lots of 10 and 100 elsewhere on the store. Um, but it's really cool that they've included these in the kit. Ooh, big bag of components here. Let's break them out and see see what's in there. Oh, okay. So some of them are loose. Okay, we have a uh, rotary encoder. Ooh, actually this one's more of a Potentiometer. So the difference is uh, an encoder, you feel it click, 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 click as you turn it. This is just sort of like nice smooth turning there. Um, let's see. Uh, the nice little, well, not little, but a fairly big surface mount push button. They're pretty big as they come. Uh, of course, we have a whole Heap of different colored LEDs and diodes by the look of that. Oh, look at this guy. An awesomely small little motor here. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, a buzzer. Oh, you know, keep this away from your kids because this can get really annoying really quickly. When we do the classes, we have a component on, you know, audio with the Arduino, and we use the buzzers, and suddenly the whole class goes buzz, buzz, buzz. We have some header pins. These are also very handy if you're going to start out doing stuff with Arduino. I really would recommend these guys. Uh, got new mail. Okay, some resistors. What are they? Uh, 330 ohm. So these are very good for building your voltage dividers and whatnot. Heat more LEDs and transistors. Uh, an RGB LED. So if you ever want to do like one of those mood lamps or you know, have one of those lamps that can do any color, this guy would be perfect. Another big fat button. And yeah, a heap more uh, resistors for, I guess, building voltage dividers. Anyway, that's the, uh, oh, sorry. We're not actually quite through it yet. There's more in the box. This is beautiful breadboard. Check him out. It's uh, semi-translucent. Very high quality. So I like that guy. Um, ah, yes. Now, this is one of the things with the umlauts. They actually uh, provide you with these templates on how to do the breadboarding with the Arduino. And you simply lay out one of those templates on top of the breadboard and you run the wires as uh, 
as instructed. It's pretty cool. They even go down to the level of like, okay, this one's using an LED. Let me show you the longer lead goes here, the shorter lead goes there. This is the type of resistor that you use. Oh, it's fantastic. I wish I had that when I started. Uh, empty bag, not that helpful. Uh, this looks to be a spare ABR. I can't quite make it out. Um, okay, cool. And of course, an ATB USB cable for programming your Arduino. And let's just open up the Arduino for fun anyway. So, they all come in this blue anti static bag. And the recent generations have the Arduino flag, oh sorry, the Italian flag on the back and the uh, little Italian flag on the front. So, yeah, this is the uh, Arduino USB as we call it. Oh, that's not good. And you can see the big AVR on it, the USB B plug, the 9 volt uh, power supply, socket, a reset pin, it's got an in circuit programmer. These guys are really hardy. It's very hard to break these. Uh, they accept a wide range of voltages between 5 and 12 volts. Uh, automatic sw power switching between the USB and the uh, power DC power line in. Uh, it's got you know, a set of digital uh, pins and pins that can do pulse width modulation. And what pulse width modulation is for? It's for it's for like fake, not faking, but uh, simulating an AC waveform. So the you know, it's used for controlling services. Uh, sorry, it's used for controlling servos and um, RGB LEDs or the brightness of an LED. And there's a few analog in pins. So that's used for me measuring a voltage. You typically do that if you, uh, you know, wanting to connect a serv a uh, sensor of some kind. And the power, you can see oscillators and what have you. Anyway, so that's all that's in the. Uh, we know Inventor Kit, buy one online. And of course, if you've got any questions, you can always just ask us on our site. Down the bottom right hand corner, we've got the little uh, chat window called Loopra. And on the top right hand corner, there's a 1 300 number. Anyway, guys, you have a great evening, day, or morning. And no doubt we'll chat soon. See you later. Bye.